This is Caleb, Caleb Henry Champagne. <laughs> he just turned four months on the 27th. When he was born, he was blue. Within a minute, he was taken out of the room. And then I didn't get to see him, didn't get to see him. Mark, my husband, came in, said that they were doing some tests. And then he came back in an hour later and said, the helicopter is on its way. We're going to Vancouver. Things just kind of spiraled out of control from there. Santiago. My name is Jason. My name is Rhonda Cotter. My name is Jonathan. My name is Marina. My name is Mary Bennett. My name is Michelle Dunphy. So my name is Lynn Coolin, and I'm the program manager of the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit at BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver. For us, we see the sickest of the sick. We make children better. And when you can take somebody who's literally on death's door and you truly save their lives, that's a very affirming thing. You really don't experience teamwork the way you experience it in the pediatric ICU. Being part of the PICU team um, is kind of like being part of a family. We're a small group and we all matter. Parents are always part of the team. and They're part of the treatment plan. So we always go to parents because they know their children the best. Kind of get these split seconds where you're able to stop and look around at the team that you're with and everybody's just sleeves rolled up in there helping you and all for that same common goal which is for the patients. I feel that we're pretty strong on communication and everything you do you'll discuss with your nursing, with your doctors and you'll always come to an agreement, you'll have some discussions. So I think communication and the ability to work together and quickly is one of the best things. Each role is very important. We have such a great team of nurses, respiratory therapists, doctors, care aides, in my nursing career, I have never been exposed to a team like this where the communication, the support, the resources, the interdisciplinary teamwork is at this level. And it's something that um, I don't know I would ever be able to leave. <laughs> as much as my family and our, all of our family has been amazing, there's a handful of people in that ICU that are the reason we got through this. You don't even know that anybody's watching and they just walk up with the tissues and I don't know, they really they really helped us through a lot. We're very excited to be launching the BCIT Pediatric Critical Care Program um, this year. Well, we're really hoping that with the BCIT program restarting, that people will be interested in coming back to critical care, that critical care nurses will feel more comfortable because it's a stressful environment for nursing as well, and uh, that the skill set, of course, will be better. It's the only course in the province that is actually for pediatric critical care. Up till now, it's only been focused on adult critical care and neonatal critical care. And of course, we are a unique population in our own right. We're also offering the course to not just new hires, but if you are a paediatric critical care nurse that's coming to us from out of province and you don't actually have a critical care qualification or certificate and you would like that, we also do accept um, that experience and you can continue on with our course. Tech Acute Care Centre uh, is uh, going to be our new expansion for both BC Children's and Women's. Um, there's going to be 231 inpatient rooms, uh, 87 outpatient rooms. Uh, it's a mix of both uh, women's and children's hospital. It's going to hold all of our acute care services, including the paediatric intensive care unit. Since day one, a couple years ago, even bedside staff along with family representatives were sitting at the table with architects and really going through what this hospital needs to look like and what the design needs to entail. So right from the beginning, I was at one of those tables and there's family there, bedside staff, leadership, like everybody has been involved right from the beginning. Uh, I love taking care of patients and families. It's really quite amazing to see the strength and resilience that these little people can have and to hopefully help them get back into their community. Seeing the family or seeing the kids getting better and get out of here, it's really very rewarding. Now I feel like I go in there <laughs> to say hi to my friends because there are nurses in there that we will be friends with forever. <laughs>